today's video it's all about answering some questions that I posted here in YouTube so some of the few questions I read is how did we meet what's my boyfriend's job what's his age they want to know the entire family which is so intruding so yun pala um, I will answer that and tulog na yung baby ko <laughs> so yun um, actually we met where did we meet? Tinder yes we met in Tinder when was that? 14th of April what year? 2020 2020 that was like almost two years ago right? So that's actually the story, Women in Tinder, and we're talking for a bit, like, how many days we're talking? We're just talking for three days? I don't know. I think it's just one day and you asked for my Instagram, right? Yeah, so, yun, inad niya ako sa Instagram, I mean, finalo niya ako sa Instagram, and I deleted my Tinder after a few months kasi, um, I think those people there are just not actually serious. So, after that, since, um, Nagka pandemic and I'm working from home. So, palagi na ako na sa bahay. So, nag Netflix and also sometimes nag check ng Tinder. Pero yung mga lalaki dun, it's not really serious. And hindi ako nag expect na magka kilala kami ni Chris. So, yun, um, I deleted Tinder kasi wala namang sense kasi lockdown. Hindi ka makakalabas, makapagala. Yun, so, um, sometimes si Chris, um, he replied to my stories like, yung ano lang kasi yung mga panahon na yun parang bored ganyan so he tried what he tried to chat with me and then i replied him sometimes we have few conversations and sometimes he just disappear <laughs> sometimes i don't reply him as well cuz i'm busy so yun until such time that it's my birthday so that's it. Um, he greeted me on my birthday and I was surprised that he still remembered my birthday because I also remember his birthday last May 9 and I greet him happy birthday which he didn't expect as well. So yun, um, sabi niya like, I like your cake, I like your dress, he looks so gorgeous with that and blah 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 and then after that like, nag flirty na siya, ganun, tapos sabi ko like, um, how are you? What are you doing in Australia? Are you fine? Like, we're not talking for a few months and I'm busy with my life too. And he's also saying that busy din siya. Like, he's moving out, moving in, everywhere. Kasi yun, um, nandun daw siya sa mama niya. And then bumalik na siya sa South Australia. Ganun. And we have a few good chats though. Until he sent me a video about something that sent this to your mom. Like, it's like a Courting stage, like so. I can still remember the first video he sent me that was like September 14, 2020. And he sent a video about himself, about his job, about his hobbies, about the sports he plays, <laughs> about his favorite color. Like, that. it's like just introducing himself in a video. And then, sabi niya, send mo to sa mama mo if anong masasabi ng mama mo. Kaya yun, I sent it to my mom and I told my mom, Mom. What can you say about this guy? Natawa siya. Sabi niya, ang funny naman to. Ang cute din. And then, sabi ng mama ko, wala ka naman boyfriend, di ba? Tignan mo pag seryoso ba yan. So, yun. I said, okay, I'll try it. Yay, tignan natin. Kasi, um, I don't like um, investing someone na hindi naman worth it. So, since it's pandemic and wala akong boyfriend, so, I might try long distance again. Kasi, I've been in a lot of long distance relationships. So after that video, like we're really having a good conversation together, and I think um, he's in love with me because um, I sing him songs, and also we have video calls, and that was like two weeks after or one week after nagpadala siya ng flowers, like a box of roses, and I wasn't really expecting that he will send me some roses. Akalain mo na sa Australia siya, tapos nagko-contact siya ng mga flower shop dito para lang mag-deliver. Which is really very, like, surprising and I really do appreciate that. Because, you know, um, hindi lahat ng lalaki nag effort Kasi ang layo-layo niya. And after that, like, our second monthsary or third monthsary, he sent me another flowers again, like, a big bouquet. 
pink roses yun and I can still remember. So, nung Christmas na, umuwi ako sa Leyte and I spend our Christmas with my family. And also, I write a lot of letters for him and also a lot of story because um, I have like this talent making some poems and making some stories and some thoughts lang ganun and he really like it. Like a letter, like Christmas letter and tapos pag a new year, like write din ako ng new year letter ganun. And it's sad kasi we're apart and we thought na pwede na akong pumunta sa Australia or ganun like pero hindi pa pwede kasi pandemic. So we're just trying to focus to ourselves for our growth together. Ganun. So yun. Um, I actually have a lot of story to tell but I think this is too long so I'll answer some few questions in my next vlog. So as what I've told you, um, he's 31 and his work is software engineer and um, he have four sisters and one brother and he's from South Australia. So yun lang. Uh, favorite color niya? I'm not actually sure if it's black or white or both. <laughs> favorite color ko is purple. Ganun. Um, yun lang. And to those who are watching this, um, I really do appreciate you. And those people who always say bad things and negative things about my vlogs. Um, actually, God bless na po sa inyo.